the curious case of the Bobs. If you're a Disney fan, I think the name Bob Shapek and Bob Aika has been populating your feeds this week. Uh, so Bob Shepak got fired from Disney and it got me thinking, why, why should we care? Whoa, what difference does it make? I'm sorry to say, I, I know that Bob Iger is driven by creativity. He, he's more of a negotiator, he's a good guy. He's more of let creatives do their work and Bob Sharpeck is more of let's get the money. Let's do anything possible to bring in that money. But at the end of the day, either way, this has nothing to do with us, you know, the consumers. This has nothing to do with me and you who consumes Disney or uh, whatever. This has everything to do with the shareholders. As you, uh, Bob Shepard was fired primarily because Disney stocks were falling. So the shareholders uh, put pressure on the company to fire him. It, it wasn't about the fact that me and you complained to Disney and said we don't like the quality of the of the shows that are, are, are of what you're seeing at Disney, we, we don't like the parks. Although I've never been to any Disney park. If you're in the US, you probably have. But this is not about us. Yet we are supposed to be the primary shareholders. I mean, you and I are the one who go to the cinema and give out that ten dollar, um, th that ten dollar bill to get that one ticket, and another person, and another person, and, and together. We make movies to make a billion dollars. It's not the shareholders, it's not the people who are bought shares at Disney that actually go to see this. They're not the one who goes to the park. You and I, we are supposed to be the primary shareholders. But all these decisions that pop up, it's not about me or you. It's about the shareholders. It's about that small graph that you see. If it goes up, everything is going well. Whether you like what you are consuming or not, it means everything is okay. If it goes down, whether you are enjoying what you're watching or not, it's uh, the, the, the CEO has to go. So as you sit there and you either are very happy that Bob Iger is back or very sad that Bob Shepak Sh Sh has left, it's never, it shouldn't affect you. It's never about you. It's about those people that call shareholders, unless you are a shareholder. And that's the sad reality of the world that we live in. All these big corporations don't really care about the consumers. You know, the quality of Disney has been, ah, oh man. I, you, you know, I, I can't say that I really love what came out of Disney, but the, the, there's some decision making that, I mean, Black Panther was such a wonderful film. I mean, Wakanda Forever was such a wonderful film, but there were some things that were just in there and you knew that this was placed here by the marketing team. The, the Thor Ragnarok, you know, you were like, really, really? But the new people would come to see because it's like our TT. Um, she, um, Lady Thor was in the film, so people. It that movie was created and conceptualized by marketers, you know, and and there have been complaints about the parks too, but the people that chose Bob Shepard to do, to be the CEO of Disney knew the kind of person that he was, you know, but since the company is all about making money. They brought him in. Why? Because they wanted to make money. And he did what he was supposed to do. You don't expect to bring in Bob Shepard and to be someone else. He's going to do the best that he can because he believes the people who believe in him enough to bring him there, believed in him enough to put him in that particular position. But now that the shares have started dropping because the shareholders decided to, you know, we, we don't like this guy because the line is going down. Let's get rid of him. Do you think, have you seen Ando? Ando, I think, is one of the one of the best things that I've seen from Disney. Wakanda Forever was not such a bad film. Uh, but there's some other decisions that were bad, so there's a balance of good and bad. But is it worth it to just fire a guy? 
I think it was a good thing. I think it's a bad thing. But at the end of the day, I genuinely don't care. You know why? Because Bob Shepard was fired and he got a shitload of money. I don't think it's going to be going like, oh my gosh, I need to go back to Disney. No, he made a shitload of money. It doesn't, it doesn't care whether you and I really complain about that. And whether Bob Iger is going to come in or not. Now, oh, now that we have Bob Iger, what is he going to do for us? You know, the consumers. Are we just going to be where they decide what they're going to do and then they put everything to us and expect us to spend money? Because currently, a Disney Marvel fan like myself, I've cut out my movies. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to be watching any more movies at the, at the cinemas because of the quality that's coming out. Avatar, yes, I have to see that because it's James Cameron. I, you know what? I'll just stop there. What do you think about Bob Iger and the Bob Shapek uh, story? Does that affect you in any way? Do you think you're important in the Disney ecosystem? I mean, yeah, we are the ones who spend, but do they really care about how we feel? Was this decision based on the fact that the people were complaining about Bob Shepak, or was it about that small line? The comments below is for you to say anything and everything that you need to say. And thank you for being here. So, see you on the next video.